Okay guys, welcome back. So this is like actually the second time me filming this because yesterday when I recorded it, something went wrong with the video. Like you, I guess I posted it on YouTube, but I made it private and it cropped like half the video, like the screen. So you couldn't see like half of what I was holding up. So I'm gonna redo it. And the one I made yesterday, I decluttered stuff and I already threw it away. So if you guys see something empty like that, it's because I already threw that away. So let's start on this side. I have some palettes over here. And let me just put this in the cart so it won't look weird. Half palettes right here, my ears right here. I have more palettes here. And then I have ColourPop lippies. Then I have my NYX ones, and then I have my NYX glitters. In this first drawer, I have, like, face products, you know, blush, bronzers, um, highlight. And then this highlight from e.l.f., it's literally $3, I think. But I didn't really like it because it was, like, more subtle. It wasn't that blinding. In the second drawer, I have some gel liner, some color pop shadows, some pomade, and then in the back, I just have more eyeshadows. Oh, this is sick. third drawer i just had like random things some jewelry in the back that i always wear and i don't want to put away and this is all cracked but i'm still keep it anyways then i have a Too Faced palette some highlight some more eyeshadows and then this individual shadow which i'll probably buy a z palette to make my own palette then over here I just have some eye products over here in this corner. So basically eyeliners, brow gels, brow pencils, and then some mascara, some primer for your eyes. And then I have this highlight, which is like the first good highlight I've had. And I thought it was good until I tried different highlights. And this one, it sucks. It's like too powdery. But it's like really pigmented and don't mind my nails. But it moves around your face. And I have some mascaras over here. And this one, I really don't like it. Let me show you guys the wand. This is how the wand looks like. Like what the hell? You know, like I hate wands like this because it does nothing to my eyelashes. It just clumps them up. And just droops them down. Doesn't even make them look curly or long. Or have any volume. So I don't know. I'm going to just keep it just in case. Like for a backup. But I don't really like it. And yeah. Just more mascara. Some brow products. Some eyeliner. And then like random lip products. Some dirty brushes over here. Some lippy sticks. And then I have some other lip product my baby baby skin oh no baby skin i mean baby lips chapsticks or whatever you want to call them then in the back i have some foundation some primers concealers this random highlight and setting spray then over here i just have more lip stuff and this one is really good it's from Anastasia. It's heck cute. It's like lip gloss, but it has like tint to it. So it's kind of like lip gloss and lipstick in one. And then these are really good. I don't hear people rave about these as much as other things, but they're pretty good. And I heard the liquid lipstick form of these, they suck. These are pretty good though. Then over here, more dirty face brushes. And... Mario Badescu spray, um, my Urban Decay spray, lip scrub, another Mario Badescu, drying cream for the face, some MAC 
shadow, a little pigment, and then some dirty, dirty lipsticks. You guys could tell they're dirty. I don't even use them. I mean, they're old, but you guys could tell they're dirty because I don't even like use them. And then my dirty sponge, I gotta clean this. And then I have some random lip products over here. And I never actually used this. It's from Buxom and it's in the shade Rose Julep. Oh, I'm holding it backwards. But it looks really pretty. And then this other little Bare Minerals lipstick that I've never used in this shade Notorious. Yeah, Notorious. I need to try these out. And then like this old Smashbox little duo that I got from Sephora a long time ago. Like probably two years ago. And it's hella pretty. I never used the other shade. I've only used the glittery shade. It's so cute. Then over here, I just have a bunch of little testers that I got from Ulta. Some little samples. They came like in a little booklet, but the booklet was like too big and it took up so much space. So I just took that apart. Then I have some more random lip glosses right here in the back. I have... A primer, Mario Badescu Moisturizer, my e.l.f. Glitter Primer. And then over here, I just have some more palettes. Bare Minerals, little dual palette. I have the Morphe palette. Another Morphe palette. And this Anastasia Glow Kit, another Morphe palette. And that's it, you guys. And so I forgot to tell you guys. This um acrylic organizer, I got this one for $17.99 at TJ Maxx, which is pretty cheap because I see these on eBay for like $30 or more. I'm not going to pay $30. And then this one, this one, I got this one for $2.99 at the Dollar Tree, which is like, it's the Dollar Tree. Why would something be $2.99? Like, why can't it just be $1? Then this is the... I got this one for $3 at Target. And then I got this one. This is the first one I owned. I got this one for $11 at Home Goods. And I could tell which acrylic organizer is which because the detailing from this one, it has some little handles on the side. So that's how I know this is the first one I got because the other ones will not have the little handles on the side. So yeah, and I forgot to show you guys. I just wanted to ask you guys real quick. So I got this e.l.f. palette recently. And the first time I got it, I accidentally got, her, got it in powder form. And it's a contour kit. And I do not like powder. I feel like cream is more easy to blend. And I have not used it yet. So I'm just curious if any of you guys have used this and if you guys like it. And I don't know why it has some like little air bubbles right there, but oh well. And then I also got this brush to contour with. It's just the e.l.f. angled contour brush. And I just hope it works. It, I got it for like $6. So even if it doesn't work, it's not like a really big deal because it was only $6. And I'm going to list um, a quick disclaimer. Oh, I forgot to show you guys my some of my powders. I threw away the other ones because the other ones I owned were like pressed powders like pressed setting powders and they were too drying for my face and then one had so much flashback i threw that away and i'm gonna list a quick disclaimer in the video description if you guys want to check that out and i'm gonna probably be doing a beauty favorites of 2017 if you guys want to put your notification bell on so you guys could be notified whenever i upload and i'll probably upload that one on sunday or monday i still have to see but yeah you guys thank you guys so much for watching